Well, this is a, the big topic in, I don't think, I, I don't want to say education, I want to say the world, because it is, is artificial intelligence. <laughs> I'm watching, I, yes. I was just actually right before I talked to you, um, I was watching, um, geez, I can't remember his name, but he's so, uh, it's maybe Marcus Brownlee. I, mean, I can't remember his name, but he is like, um, he's a, a YouTuber that talks about tech trends and he, he showed, he, and I've, I've seen it before, but like when I like what to hear what he has to say about it yeah. was how basically you can make like stock footage your own. There's the, the new um, thing from open AI where they're basically, you can just say, make this scene and it's totally human. And if you look for it, you can actually see it's not real, but like mm -hmm. if you, if you didn't, if you weren't looking for it, you wouldn't know. Right. So what do you see kind of like in this time where we have all this stuff with artificial intelligence and the thing he kept saying over and over, over again, is that, and I've said this too, this is the worst it's going to be from this day forward. It only gets better. So like, right. how do you kind of, kind of get people focusing on the stuff that's coming with artificial intelligence, the, the stuff that's already here, but also focus on ensuring kids have the ability to create. Yes. Um, I do think that it is, like you're saying, it's such a huge topic right now. I actually did present at ISTE last summer and at FETC um, and at GAETC about AI and using it for creative purposes. And I'm doing another one this summer at ISTE, just a little plug. If anybody's yeah. going to be there, you definitely could come. But it's more for our younger students and how AI, I feel like, should be introduced to them. Um, with me, I've done it with third, fourth, and fifth grade, and I've used Adobe Express. And I really used it as a way to talk to them about it because on the first day before we had done anything with it, and I had honestly not even mentioned it before that day, even though months before I was planning for a presentation, um, I just said, you know, hey, I'm just curious. Let's just have a discussion in the room. Raise your hand if you know about AI. Every hand went up. And I said, okay, let's just talk about what do you know? Like, what do you think it is? What are you sh positive that it is? What are you unsure that it is? And we just had this great discussion and it was really just cool. Like, I loved it. I felt like it was a great time for me to connect with my students. And then we went on to look at a very simple um, project. We basically asked the AI inside of Adobe Express to create a... Um, uh, like a character, but it was like a mashup of two other things. So like you would say, I would like a unicorn and a cow right. and see what it came out with. And, uh, and then we would add in other adjectives, you know, that is singing and has headphones on and has pink hair or whatever. So um, it was really fun. The kids had a great time, but it, when I showed them the demonstration, I put in something and when it popped up, I would say now friends, I know that AI is, you know, some of y'all said, like, it's the smartest thing in the whole wide world. And I said, and I see what you're talking about. I said, but your brain as a human and as a student is always going to be able to decipher and understand things more than the AI. Mm -hmm. And I would say, because a lot of times I ask the kids before I'm typing in what we want. And somebody said, it's like a name of a dance, like, Oh, I knew it. Gritty. Mm -hmm. yeah, That's like gritty. the name of a dance. The, the, they said like a, the, the unicorn cow doing the gritty. And I was like, okay, so let's talk about this before I push enter. Is AI as a computer going to understand what the gritty is? I said, because for me, I knew because y'all talk about that kind of stuff, but right. my mom who's 83 would not know what the right. gritty is. And I said, so, or my dad rather, either one of them. And I said, you know, they would think like sandpaper, like it's gritty. Right. And right. I said, so what's AI going to think? And so having us be able to talk about those things in their mind, they were like, oh, I get it. Like I have to say something like doing a dance or like you can't use these words that are just, you know, words right. that. Did it know? I got to know. Did it know? What the it did not. It did not. It oh, did wow. not know what the gritty was. And we then have tried other things to see like, you know, and I say to them, I'm like, just try it out and see if it'll know. I, I don't know. Mm -hmm. I'm guessing that it will not. Um, but, you know, that was a great learning time. And I felt like with students, if we don't talk about it and we just try to push it under the rug, they're going to go find out on their own. Right. I would rather as an educator have them find out 
the educational way to use it correctly than just to go and start just having it write all their papers for them mm -hmm. instead of teaching them to write their paper and then maybe take sections and put it in or proofread it that way. Um, so we've had a lot of discussion before we ever started using it. And I will also say that um, my students, I would also say when it would come back with the picture, sometimes because it's just grabbing images from the internet and smushing them together, it would be, you know, their unicorn cow would have eight legs or some random like seven legs, you know, some <laughs> random number. And I would always say, you know, if that's what you're looking for, then okay. But typically that's probably not what you're looking for. Right. And so it'd give them the chance to really look at what was being brought up with just pictures mm -hmm. and being able to decide, okay, is that what I had in my head before I put it in there? Is that what I was kind of looking for? And if not, going back and putting in more words or changing their prompt, so to speak. So I really loved all of those aspects with using it with my students.